Hi, this is Mr. Automac, and right now I'm going to show you how to get um, <clears throat> like DVD art um, or like info for a movie that you um, put into iTunes. So like this, um, we have like uh, these movies right here. So if you want to get like, just make your movies look better, and uh, like when you go into this view right here, forget what this is called, but um. Yeah, so when you go into this and then like you choose like a movie and then you have like your and then it goes out and it gets the info and everything like that just to make your movies look better after you download them. I'm going to show you how to do that. So, I'm going to put a link in the description for this application called MetaX and you open that up and this is what it looks like and you drag the movie you want to get the info for in the DVD art and you drag it in and um, over here it searches for it um, so if you have the wrong title or something you just type in the title so say you're searching for um, info for um, I don't know um, super bad super bad and you hit enter and it comes up with all the info for super bad but we're doing kingdom of heaven right now hit enter and this is all the info it comes up with and you just click on it and this didn't have any information that one didn't and this one doesn't really have any information either for some reason um, but yeah some don't have as much information as others like for some movies like super bad might have better information. See, it fills it out like that. And then Kingdom of Heaven doesn't have um, as good in the search. But, um, yeah, you'll just choose whichever one is best. And neither of these are very good. But um, if you want to, you can hit this IMDB browser. And then you can click whichever one it is. And then you can... Um, just copy and paste the information in if it didn't come up with the right info over there um, and then for a picture for your DVD art you can go to movie posters and then it'll come up with all the different movie posters for it so we just like that one right there is fine and you'll just hit toggle um, once you have everything you want and you'll hit write and share and it's just gonna write the information to that movie file and for this to work, I believe it has to be a .mov or .mp4. Either one, I think, will work. And then once it's done, you just open up iTunes and um, just drag it in. And then we'll wait for that to copy in. And I'll come back when it's copied in. Kingdom of Heaven is done copying in. Uh, we can go ahead and delete this um, wherever you copied it in from. You can delete that because when you copy it into iTunes, it makes another movie file. So if you keep that one that you originally copied from, it's just going to take up more space on your hard drive. So if you go ahead and delete that, and then this will work. This will still work fine even after it's deleted because it copies it into a, a folder. Copies into a folder called Movies under the iTunes um, directory or whatever. So yeah, that's how you uh, get information and uh, movie art for your movies. Um, if you have any questions about MetaX or how to use it, um, it's a really good program. But like I said, sometimes it, it won't have all the information for it. Um, that's just how it goes. Sometimes you just have to write it in yourself. But um, you should always be able to get a, a good cover art, a good uh, movie art for it, um, whether or not you get the, the, all the artists and all this information. So yeah, that's how you use it. If you have any questions about it, um, be sure to comment on this video or send me a direct message. Um, this was Mr. Adam Mac. Thanks for watching.